Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, an unexpected short video. So we did uh, a video earlier this week, actually yesterday, about Leslie Jones making some uh, derogatory comments about Ghostbusters 3. She's not real happy with it. She tweeted at the studio. She tweeted at uh, her director. She tweeted at Melissa McCarthy. It's a mess. Anyway, she is clarifying her comments. <laughs> okay. I think she's backpedaling. <laughs> She's backpedaling because she knows uh, that's not a good look. Well, she called them dicks, and she did. She did say it was a dick move by yeah. Sony. Uh, you know, she was she not blamed happy. it on Trump. Blamed it well, on it's Trump. A, it's, it was a Trump-like behavior. Trump-like behavior. So uh, here we go. Comicbook.com backslash movie Saturday Night Live star Leslie Jones clarifies clarifies Ghostbusters three comments. So she said it was a dick move, and here somebody said, make magic, not war bitches. The only reason do bros come out less dog, that's Leslie, uh, about another Ghostbusters is because she won't take their shit. Wait, but I'm not a man. You're not a dude bro. You're not a dude bro. She stands up for the women. But I'm a woman standing up for women who didn't like the 2016 film. Let's be real. They don't have access to the others, but they'll get a fight with Leslie. This ain't shit for thinking anyone they say... Wait, this, this ain't, ain't shit, shit for, for thinking, thinking anything, anything they, they say, say counts. counts. But I'm a woman saying similar things. <sighs> but it's all men, because don't you know, it's, we women only exist if you agree with them. Yeah. We're fighting it, for women's rights as long as you agree. To which Leslie Jones says, It's very sad that this is the response I get. When the points, When the point is, if they make this new one with all men, and it does... But it was all men before! The original was, and the thing is, is we don't know. We don't know what the cast of this movie there, is. Be like. I, I bet you it's mixed. I bet you it's a mixed I, cast. I can almost guarantee it. And it does well, which it will. It might yeah, feel well. that boys are better. It makes my heart drop. Maybe I could uh, have used different words, but I'm allowed to have my feelings just like that. Well, you are allowed to have your feelings, and that is completely true. And we will always back that. You are allowed to like things. You're allowed not to like things. Always will back that. Um, I think she's making she's making a lot well she's making a lot of assumptions here one she's assuming it's going to be an all-male cast that has not been stated actually it's been kind of hinted that it's not gonna be all right cast. and I, I seriously doubt that they they would do an all-male cast now um, but they are going to bring back the original uh, three remaining Ghostbusters of course we might get Sigourney Weaver we might get Annie Potts we don't know um, wait I'm going back at this okay look at this okay so okay so when the point is if we get this new one with all men and it does well which it will it might make make you feel that boys are better so what happened when 2016 was around so if we get and make this new one with all women and it does well is that going to mean that girls are better i mean it, yes. how come how, <laughs> i'm just saying how come that that logic's fine um you know and it's because it's going to do one with all men because it was all men the first place yeah um, yeah, I'm um, uh, just saying what mixed cast. It's still, I've been saying this since the beginning. Mixed cast is the best way to go. Probably what's going to happen. And the thing is, is that look, uh, Leslie, at the end of the day, uh, regardless of of uh, you know which gender the the actors were in Ghostbusters 2016, nobody wanted a Ghostbusters 2016. They want a reboot. Nobody wants a Ghostbusters reboot. And uh, then you you know you bring all the identity politics into it. You bring all the the gender yeah. uh, wars into it. You and bring like, all you, this stuff into it. There's no it, way to just... watch that film and not see that it was clearly constant digs at men. Yeah. And yeah. I mean it was. And I'm like all girl power, and I'm even like, wow, that's you know, cause I got a son, and I don't think my son should be belittled just so you can have you know you can feel better about your girl power. <laughs> I'm just saying. I hey look, they got a shot. They got a chance. Um, and the audience spoke with their dollars, and I guarantee you a lot of the people who did not go see Ghostbusters 2016 were women because mm -hmm. they didn't want to see a Ghostbusters reboot. You, yeah. unfortunately, Leslie got caught in the crossfire of uh, uh, a very uh, unfortunate situation. The company, though, is trying to make money. They're trying to make money. They know that uh, you know Ghostbusters could be a franchise, and the only way it's going to be a franchise is if they treat the fans right and they give people what they want. And, and a mixed cast was still the best way to go because then you can appeal to men yeah. and women because the whole idea that it's only one demographic or the other that are fans of this film is ridiculous because there's a lot of women who like it just as much as men and just because there's women who like it doesn't mean they're automatically going to go and back an all women Ghostbusters for no other reason than to push a, a agenda about girl power. Yep, you know here what we I'm go. Saying? Yeah, so the Hollywood Reporter thinks that the new team will maintain the quartet format but will instead mm -hmm. focus on four teenagers. 
That actually concerns me more than anything. Yeah. Uh, two males and two females. Oh god, that could go bad. But they could have no done that. No offense to teenagers. Yeah, but... but yeah, it could it could go very bad. Yeah, it's called Scooby Doo. <laughs> it's called. Oh my god, it's gonna be Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Um, you know, so I mean, there's no. Oh my, that's gonna be bad. There is no guarantee that this movie is going to be great. Uh, there's no guarantee so of it. They're but... gonna find it in the barn, the Ecto one. Well, it's supposed to be. Uh, people said they think it's it's Ray's uh, family farm. So Ray might be like, you know, uh, grandpa or uncle to one of the kids, maybe. I don't know. Um, oh, no. Yeah, so. That, 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 yes. That's, that's Scooby-Doo, guys. Oh, oh my no. God. So Fig's also going Ghostbusters. Re okay, so this is just, why is it all politics? Oh why is it all politics? The Ghostbusters reboot faced adversity in its way to the screen, prompting uh, Fig to repeatedly combat sexist backlash launched, launched at the female-led film. There are a lot of female-led films that don't get sexist bash backlash. Uh, the director compared the film to Hillary Clinton's presidential campaying. What? <sighs> Saying we're both caught in the exact same <laughs> okay. vortex. So what? now it's not Trump. Now it's Hillary Clinton. The controversy... You can't have anything about making a pol political about politics. Oh my god! Oh my! This was seriously. September. The controversial move to replace the male team with the female team ignited these passions that were already around because Trump was stirring them up. <laughs> I'm sorry. So they're all blaming Trump. Uh, they told the Telegraph in September. I think these guys felt they were losing control. Uh, what? The only ones who act like they're losing control is him and 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 uh, Leslie. Yeah, this is ridiculous. So Dan Aykroyd stepped in. I did see this interview. Uh, he actually blamed uh, Fig. He blamed the director for excessive spending and not shooting required scenes, remarking um, that the filmmaker will not be back on the Sony lot anytime soon. I do remember that interview. Basically, I, I don't think with, with Leslie Jones uh, tweeting at uh, uh, Paul Fig and tweeting at uh, Sony, I mean, I, th there's no danger of, of uh, them losing anything because I think that they're not wanted. Well, look at the back. next one. Despite his hopes for a sequel, second film was deemed unlikely as far back as August right. 2016, less than a month after it's released. Yeah, yeah, they were clearly trying to set up one, but it was like, oh, wow. Well, this, this, okay, this tells you everything right here. This is the director. This is his opinion of his movie. I think it kind of hampered us a little bit because the movie became so much of a cause. Well, they, was, they were the ones making it a cause. I think for some of our audience, they were like, what the fuck? We don't want to go to a cause. We just want to watch a fucking movie. Yes. Yeah. 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 At Imagine least he that. admits that. At I least mean, he admits that. I mean, here's the thing. If you, if you, you guys, even if you had done a movie with female Ghostbusters, but you made it that it wasn't the whole premise of the movie was to prove that women were better than men and men were stupid or evil. Had you, you know, just been about ghost busting and not said about bust. bust yeah like i said ball busting ball busting if you've been about ghost busting and not ball busting it might have had a better movie oh god so yeah leslie jones obviously a bit uh a bit uh, uh butt hurt about I, mean, I can understand where, why she yeah was. i mean she made the movie and basically people are like we hate your freaking movie um but that happens it happens it happens to the best of them you know um and and the movie the studio has to make money they have to make money they want ghostbusters to be a franchise what they did in 2016 was not a smart move from a financial standpoint, they could have passed well, the, the way mantle they handle or something. The fans again, like yeah. That's, I think that's mostly when all this fan, uh, the crapping of the fans things really stopped. Well, yeah, this was actually this is kind of a turning point. This needs to stop. And the fact that that Ghostbusters 2016 was such a uh, such a uh, uh, turning point, I guess, in in, in all of this uh, pop culture uh, uh, war that's going on, um, you know, that they're that they're backpedaling might actually. Uh, indicate that the pendulum is going to swing. You like that pendulum a lot. Well, no, it's it's going to though. It's more like a guillotine. I think it needs, think think it needs like, to go in the middle and kind of hang there. Yeah, but I think it's it's going to. Basically, the studios realize they can't make money off of pissed off fans, and you know, hopefully, Star Wars, uh, hopefully, Lucasfilm wakes up. You know, yeah. hopefully, some of these game developers and, wake up. And, and you can't blame. Like I'll say, it, I said it again. I'll say it again. You cannot blame the entire thing on misogyny and racism because not every fan out there who didn't go see your movie is a misogynist or racist. Because you have people who are that aren't white, and you have people that aren't women or aren't men. You know what I mean? You have women and stuff out there too. So this whole idea that if you didn't like it, you clearly are these things is ridiculous. Plus, the whole damn world can't be racist misogynist. I'm just saying. 
yeah, that, that, that marketing never works. <laughs> it never works. Insulting people never works. Uh, you want them to come to your movie. You don't want to tell them to stay home because they're awful people. Right. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting. This is going to be and, the gift that keeps on giving. And, I uh, yeah, I guess. And then I guess Fred Aaron said, it's a guess. This is not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. Uh, but I think the next one will make a shit ton of money. Mm -hmm. I think it will. So but it'll just make it think people think that boys are better. Yeah. Okay. That's not the takeaway. That's not, that's not the, the takeaway they're going to get. You know, I am concerned about it being about teenagers. Yeah, that's the only concern that, I have. Well, that's a rumor, but... That is a concern. Yeah, uh, that, that, that is Scooby-Doo. Okay. okay, anyway. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye.